So my computer is being stuck in a BIOS loop. So what that means essentially is that when I turn it on, it uh, loads up the BIOS, but I guess it got corrupted. So it just doesn't do anything when it's on the loading screen right here. So what I'm gonna do is take out the CMOS battery or the CMOS battery, which powers the motherboard when there's no other power unit there. So it's basically the BIOS battery essentially. So if I take that out, and put it back in it's going to reset all the settings back to factory default on the motherboard and hopefully that will fix it because it'll erase all the corrupted shit and data on it so i'm gonna just log this through on my saves and if it works i'll just post it so this is my computer i got a 600 watt power supply a gtx 1080 8 gigabyte uh a Ryzen 5 300, I think. And then I have a uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. So right here, it's uh, like a watch battery. That's the CMOS battery. So what I'm gonna do is pop that out, give it like 30 seconds and then pop it back in. And then I'm just gonna hope that it's not like a hard drive or a, RAM, a piece of RAM that died. Cause I've gone through like three hard drives so far in the past six months it might just be a bad motherboard not sure so yeah it's really difficult to get out come on damn it is there like a special way i need to do this or something what's going on here There we go. All right, so this thing is out. The, hang on, let it focus. This checkered side is the negative, so it's gonna be going down, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's negative, because I see a little plus sign right there. So we're just gonna give this motherboard like 30 seconds to calm down and let the BIOS reset. Because when I put this thing back in there, it's gonna put power back into the motherboard and then uh, that's going to allow everything to reset back to factory. And if that works, then I should be good. My computer's going to work again. If not, then I might need to buy a new motherboard or replace one of these components. Because one of these components might just be the issue of why it's not starting up. Hopefully it's just another hard drive because even if it's annoying, it's just a $50 fix rather than a $150 new motherboard or something. Alright, it's been like 30 seconds, so I'm gonna pop this thing back in there. Just put that there, and then pull this thing back that keeps the battery in the place. Push it down just like that. Boom. Alright, let's see if this thing uh, wants to work again. Just make sure everything's secure. Maybe one of these just got loose, and that's why. see so i got everything that you need hooked up the keyboard mouse the hdmi cable that leads to the graphics card to the tv so i'm gonna put switch on the power supply there we go turn on my tv power switch Moment of truth. You gonna work? Or am I just screwed? Come on, load, load, load. Maybe. Yes, let's go. Here is the like the information it's giving me. So it's recognizing that the hard drive's there. It's got four keyboards, that's not right. Two mice, no, that's not right either. But there's one drive, which is the USB drive I have hooked up back there. And then, uh, okay, so it's a Ryzen 5 200, 26, 
two six x and then we got a uh three hundred six three thousand six hundred megahertz um and uh sixteen gigabytes of ddr4 ram you know this is basic stuff so i'm gonna press f1 and it'll send me to the bios if it's working correctly yep here we go and i'll sit down so what I'm gonna do is go to the boot and get it out of safe mode because maybe it was just getting into a safe mode loop, which is not good because then I can't start my computer. So where do I even find safe mode? I've never done this before. Boot configuration maybe. Nope. Secure boot. Probably not. I'm just gonna scroll. It should be this one. Oh, it's a normal boot. I forgot to say no. here was that uh, you don't really necessarily need to look for the safe boot option because you had just reset your BIOS, so everything would be back to factory settings. Unless your computer were to like fail to start before a post or after a post three times in a row, it wouldn't necessarily go into safe mode. So you don't really have to worry about anything back there unless you want to mess with your BIOS settings like I did, overclocking my shit. But uh, just ignore ignore all that and just try to clear it up. I have no regard for my computer's health, and I have I'll mostly always have money. I can just get new parts. I'm gonna do the performance sensor. No, nope, not this. And put this to level three, cause why why not? If my computer dies, that's on me. Well, I think that should be it. So what I'm gonna do is go to exit, save changes, and reset. These are the changes I made because I couldn't find safe mode. Hopefully it just works. Pretty much just overclocked everything and reset my memory since I reset the BIOS. So hopefully it works. Okay. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to beep, so we're good so far. Come on, come on. Do your thing, PC. Don't make me spend new parts on you again. Load, load, load. it's doing something. Yes, let's go. That's how you fix your computer if it's in a BIOS loop. Catch you guys later. Just for proof that it's actually working, I got it on the startup menu right here. I just got done watching all the videos, making sure everything's in order. So enter my pin. That's like a username from four years ago. Don't mind that. It's not my current username. I thought it was cool at the time. You know, middle school me. And it's loaded up. So, yeah, just making sure you guys are confirming. Yeah, I don't know.